Since the G.I. Joe classified line of figures doesn't quite see character releases at the same frequency as their vintage O-ring counterparts of the 80s and early 90s, some creativity is left up to the imagination. I assume this will be the case until the 6-inch classified line catches up a little to flesh out the character range. As such, we ask ourselves how does this 112th scale kit bash of G.I. Joe's favorite mortar firing soldier fit as a stand-in for one of the original 13 real American heroes that brought us so much play value back in the day. We'll talk about it right here and now. Let's begin. As per his original file card, Short Fuse is a third generation military man whose mathematical and in the field triangulation skills make him an excellent mortar firing artillery soldier who also happens to co-specialize as an infantry engineer. The original figure came with a bit of gear, though as we'll see soon, Gridiron Studios has added a bit more gear in this larger scale to give Short Fuse an updated range of equipment for his Cobra the Enemy hunting missions. But before we take a closer look at the Gridiron Studios Mortar Trooper custom loadout, I'll point out that the breaker body seemed to be the right fit to serve as a base for short fuse, given their similarities in uniform color back in the day of the original 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. And I'm aware that I've used the classified flint head a lot in the past for customs, but it seems to be one of those that's narrow enough to fit into a Gridiron Studios helmet, and usually when I make use of him, I try to make sure that most of his face is covered by the headgear so as to keep my collection looking varied enough. And as you can see, the face is well covered by the visor in this new loadout that I've got, just enough to keep him looking unique if standing next to an unmodified classified flint. Ideally, I would have preferred to use a blonde haired figure to match that of the original toy, but with the hair entirely covered by the helmet, this shouldn't be too much of an issue, and heads can always be swapped out easily enough in the future if the situation arises. As we look at the gear loadout, it all fits together more or less intuitively onto the figure. The backpack tabs in very easily, the mortar shells fit nicely enough onto the backpack, which is a feature we didn't get with the vintage figure, partly due to its scale back in the day, and we also now have this nice walkie that tucks into one side of the pack. There's also the army canteen that tabs in on the other side of the pack, and I have to admit that the majority of the added features of this figure loadout are on the backpack itself. The mortar shells can also fit into the mortar itself, which also comes with a bipod and a base stand that harken back to the 1982 and 1983 releases of Short Fuse. The mortar can also tab into the center of the backpack so he can carry everything all at once, and this loadout also comes with a gun for him to be deployed in a more traditional infantry manner. And as we look at him next to the vintage figure, I'd say that this is a great representation and update into the newly popularized modern scale, all while still giving proper tribute to his original release. A look at him next to the classified breaker, and he certainly doesn't look one bit out of place when compared to the official off-the-shelf G.I. Joe releases. Finally, in adding him to my growing selection of customized and kitbash G.I. Joe classified scale figures, he certainly helps a lot in terms of expanding the range that is being offered, all while showcasing what Gridiron Studios has to offer to flesh out your 112th scale G.I. Joe shelf. And if you are interested in products such as these, you can find what you're looking for in both 112th and 118th scale at gridironprops.com. And if you're interested in seeing other G.I. Joe customs I have made videos of in the past, you can click on any of the videos right here. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters and channel members whose names can be found in the description below for their ongoing support into the Toy Connection YouTube channel. With that, yo Joe, and I'll see you again next time.